Hi, I'm Rob with Expedition Team Overland. This is the first of my instructional videos on how to take the freedom panels off of a JKU hardtop. This also will be very similar to how you do it on a JL or a JLU. Right now I have a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Recon Edition. It's a very simple process and I'll walk you through it. Now you can do this entire thing from sitting in the front two seats of the, of the Jeep. First, what you're going to have to do is to pull your head visors, sun visors, down and to either side. Next, you'll be taking the two clamps that are holding on the roof under each sun visor and you'll be opening those up. Next, there are four locks that you unlock using your hand. They just go 90 degrees. There's three on the B pillar on the roll bar and one in the center above the rear view mirror. The next part of this, you don't need a special tool to use, but it is, makes it easier. And if you do remove your freedom panels frequently, you do not need to keep these two screws in all the time. You can gain, obtain this tool from Amazon or any of the other major parts uh, suppliers, Northridge or Quadratech. I will leave a, just a link in the description below. Now these are a little bit difficult because where they're handled and you're, you just rotate them 9 degrees. They're very long. They're located on either side of the dome light. So all you do is you just unscrew them. Now with the tool. Now to remove the panels, you take the driver's side out first and then the passenger side. The driver's side, there's a lip and the driver's side sits on top of it. To take them off, it's easier to remove them from the outside than to bring them from the out inside. So let's go outside to remove the panels. So now I'm on the driver's side. Put your hand on underneath and push it up. And the panel comes off. We'll do the exact same thing for the passenger side. So now we're on the passenger side, exact same thing. Put your hand underneath, push it up, and it comes off. Now we'll put them in the Mopar storage bag. So the Mopar storage bag for this is a perfect place to keep them so you don't get damaged or lost. And if you keep them in your vehicle, it has a strap for it to be strapped around the back seat while it stays in the cargo area of the four-door Jeep Wrangler. Let's put them in. This is a little bit more of a tricky side to put them in. It just takes a little bit of practice. So the Mopar storage bag is laid out in the same uh, design of the panels. Now you're going to put the panels outside of the outside of the panel on the outside of the bag so the two insides are sandwiched each other. In the middle of the bag is a little piece of fabric that divides the two centers. 
as you can see here you have this little piece of black fabric is what divides the two pieces for the top for the driver side and passenger side so now let's put the panels in the bag They just fit very nicely in there. When you have to get the second one in, you have to work it up and over the latches of the first one. It's a little bit of a snug fit. Once both panels are in, simply, simply zip the bag up. Now the bag is easy to move for storage. As you see here, they have a alligator clip. Now this will clip around the two rear headrests this will be facing the inside of the back seat. This will be facing the cargo area. It's very easy to install. Put the cargo panels into the cargo area of the... As you can see, now I have it clipped here with the alligator clip snapped. It does not impede your passengers in any way. It does not take up a lot of room in your cargo area, but if, if I were to have my ARB fridge on its slide, this would not, have, would not fit. A 50 liter fridge is just a little too long. So in this case, I'd have to put the panels in another location, preferably in the back seat, which would impede you bringing passengers with you. Let's go take a look at how it looks from the cargo area. Now here we are in the cargo area. As you can see, they're nice and secure out of the way. They do not take up a lot of room, so just around town, it's a great location. If you're out on the trail with all your trail gear, refrigerator, might take up a little more space so you just need to plan ahead for that for installing these back on the jeep very simple process same way just remember you need to put the passenger side on first as the driver side lip overlaps the passenger side for weather weather sealing secure the four 90 degree clips and the two clamps that are on the driver and passenger side sun visors the two screws for on and off, multiple on and off in the springtime or fall, I don't think you need to put those back on. But if this is going to be something you're going to be leaving on for the winter months, I would recommend to put those screws in because it just makes it a, a significantly stronger weather seal. If you have any questions, leave comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.